Hi, Melanie Minchinger, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I'm going to be sharing how I colored the water in this vase based on tons of requests that I got from you after sharing this card on my blog. The vase on this card is from my Buds and Vases stamp set from Gina K Designs and the flowers are from the new Journey of the Heart stamp TV kit also from Gina K Designs. This is an omission technique and you're going to need some water-based markers for inking up your images and I'm also going to use two Copics for the water, BG10 and BG01 and these are nice light colors that are great for water and for doing shadows. I'm going to start with some white pure luxury paper. You need to have a very clean stamp for this. Anytime that you're not going to ink up the whole image, make sure it's clean and dry before you start using a marker to ink up the areas that you want. So I want to ink up the whole vase. I'm going to use this Bahama Blue Memento marker. Um, you can also use black, but I like to sometimes use gray or blue for glass just to make it a little bit softer. So I'm going to ink up. I'm going to use the side of my marker, and I'm going to ink up the bottom of this vase. There's that water line right there. I'm going to do the front of the vase. and then just a teeny bit of the back. So you're not inking up this top portion because when you stick the flowers in, they'll be behind this front edge, but they'll be in front of this back edge. The reason why you want to use water-based markers is so that you can reactivate the ink by huffing onto the stamp to moisten the ink. Then you're going to stamp. Okay. Next, I'll do my flowers quickly. So I'm going to start the brush tip, and I'm just going to color over, pick that up so that you can see, those stems, and that's bamboo leaves, and then I'm going to take this darker green, Cottage Ivy, I always like to use two shades of green on stems and leaves, so I put that on the underside of where the flowers are, and then the underside of the stem, ink up the middles with this cantaloupe. I'm going to take this love letter and just quickly go over those petals. And you can use any flowers from my line of stamps or any stamp images that you have to go into this vase. Okay, so there they are, but I just like using those because we're doing that same technique of marker to stamp, which is called direct to stamp. Okay, now to color this water in, I'm going to start by going in circles and just filling in where the well of this water is. This is an actual vase that I have at home, a tiny little bud vase. It's clear and it has this thick, thick glass, but you do see some reflections through it. Okay, so I'm just going in circles and fill that whole thing in. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a shadow below it. Okay, next I'm going to take this darker blue and I'm going to put a little bit here at the bottom and then the bottom here where it touches the table. And then I'm just going to do some lines. I always make my lines running parallel whenever I'm doing reflections to where that glass is. So you put a little bit here and then on this side. My poor kitty in the background. I don't know if you can hear her crying, but it just wasn't going to work out for her to be in here for the video, even though she wanted to help. All right. And then I'm going to just put just a few tiny lines inside this glass area and just a little bit under here okay and then you can go back in and soften that and deepen that color and that's all I do I did do just a couple lines just to kind of trace those stems there and that's it. So then you would just trim that down and then add it to your card. 
Here's some other images in my Buds and Vases set. There's also a jar, and you can use that same technique of inking up the jar, leaving off the top, and then just doing just a few contour lines to add some shade, shading and some reflections. Then I have this little flower pot, and I think I'm gonna do a video next on how to color this flower pot. And then here are the different flowers that you can add to those different containers. But like I said, there are just so many different florals that you can add to this vase. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed this technique. Please come and see me for more videos using my stamps.